Congratulations, you bought a ukulele. Or maybe someone was kind enough to gift you one. Well, you're going to be hearing the term action a lot in the ukulele circle. So I'd like to share with you what I've learned about action on my ukulele journey. That's coming right up. Kevin here with Is That Uke. For me, the ukulele was the first stringed instrument I learned to play. I was amazed at how easy it was. The C, G, and F chords were easy enough, but then I needed to play the B minor and the G7 chords. Ow! I thought my fingers were going to snap off. Why were these chords so much harder? What I found was that the action on my beginner ukulele was too high, and this forced me to press much harder than I should. So what do you do if your action is off? First, let me define what we're talking about. So what we're talking about is that distance right there. The height of the string from at the nut, which is right here, from the bottom of the first fret, I'm sorry, from the top of the first fret to the bottom of the string. That is the height that we're interested in to determine if we have proper action or not. So remember, there are two points where the strings stay in constant contact. The bridge and the nut. These two parts determine the height of the strings above the fret wires. Ideally, you want the height at the first fret to be 0.5 millimeters and 2.5 millimeters at the 12th fret. To determine the height of your action, you can use a string action ruler like this one. Let's take a closer look. If you had a string action ruler, you would notice that on one side there are marks that are measured in millimeters. And they go from 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.751, etc., etc., all the way up, in this case, to 3.5, which is just off the camera range. For a ukulele, what you want at the nut, the first fret wire, the height from the top of the first fret wire to the bottom of the strings, you want it to be 0.5. And at the 12th fret, you want that height to be 2.5. But you can also measure the action using an ordinary deck of playing cards. It turns out that two or three playing cards are pretty close to 0.5 mil. So we can take a couple of cards and slide them under the strings. If they slide loosely, we can add a third. And the third card should be snug but still move. At the 12th fret, we can use the same method, but with seven cards. Now before we get into how to adjust the action, if you could click that like button, I would appreciate it. And if you find value in what I'm doing here, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? Thanks. So how do you adjust the action? I've pulled the strings off of uh, this ukulele just to save some time. You may not have to take the strings all the way off, but because this uh, is pull through bridge, um, you pretty much had to. The saddle, which is right here, is made to come out. And so you may have to uh, slide it sideways, but in this case it just pulls right out of the bridge. And you'll notice that uh, on the top of this, there is some uh, configuring, but the bottom is very flat. And what you're going to do is sand that bottom if your action is too high. If your action is too low, then you'll just take a sliver of paper and you'll put it in the saddle slot and raise it up. If it's still not high enough, put another sliver in until you get the action adjusted to your liking. And uh, there's an excellent video by um, Got a Uke, and uh, I'll put a link to that below. Um, he does a great job of explaining how to m do the measurements and calculate what you need to take off. But it's just that simple. So don't think that you've got to put up with bad action because you bought a beginner ukulele. 
off of Amazon or at your local guitar store and it didn't cost that much and so you just figure well that's the way it is. No, that's um, meant to be adjusted. This is the part that you can use to adjust it and it's not hard to do. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, we'll see you in the next one.